Have you ever thought about the myriad ways you can transform a humble head of cabbage? This often underestimated vegetable is a culinary chameleon, changing its character to suit a wide array of dishes from around the world. From the hearty stews of Eastern Europe to the fermented delights of Korea, cabbage is a truly global ingredient. It's a testament to the versatility of vegetables, showing us that with a little creativity, even the simplest of ingredients can become the star of the show. Cabbage doesn't just bring a unique texture and flavor to our plates, it also brings a wealth of nutritional benefits. It's a powerhouse of vitamins C and K, packing a punch when it comes to boosting your immune system and bone health. The high fiber content aids digestion, while its antioxidant properties help reduce inflammation. And let's not forget, it's low in calories and high in deliciousness. There's a whole world of cabbage out there, each type bringing its own unique characteristics to the table. The common green cabbage is sweet and crispy, perfect for slaws and salads. Red cabbage brings a vibrant pop of color and a slightly peppery bite. Savoy cabbage, with its ruffled, tender leaves, is ideal for stuffing or using in soups. And then there's Napa cabbage, the star of many Asian dishes, with its mild flavor and soft, crinkly leaves. Choosing the right cabbage for your dish starts at the market. Look for heads that are firm and dense, with bright, crisp leaves. Avoid those with blemishes or wilted leaves. And remember, the fresher the cabbage, the sweeter and more flavorful it will be. So, whether you're a seasoned cook or a culinary newbie, it's time to give cabbage its due. It's not just a filler or a side dish, it's a star in its own right. And once you start exploring the myriad ways to cook with cabbage, you'll see just how wonderful this vegetable can be. Now let's dive into our first recipe. Our first stop on this culinary journey takes us to the heart of Poland, with a dish that evokes nostalgia and festive celebrations. Golabki, also known as stuffed cabbage rolls, are a cherished traditional dish that masterfully brings together humble ingredients to create a symphony of flavors that's nothing short of magical. The process begins with the cabbage leaves, which are carefully boiled until they reach that perfect balance of tenderness. These leaves are going to be our vessels, holding within them a hearty filling that's going to make your taste buds dance. Next, we move on to the filling, a rich blend of ground meat, rice, and a medley of spices. Each ingredient contributes its unique character, coming together to create a filling that's hearty, savory, and oh-so-delicious. The magic of Golabki lies in the harmony of these ingredients, a testament to the beauty of Polish cuisine. Now let's talk about the art of rolling. It's a delicate process, a dance of sorts between the cabbage leaf and the filling. With each fold, the leaf cradles the filling, enveloping it in a tender embrace. The final result? A neat little package that's ready for the next step, baking. Baking transforms these humble rolls into a dish that's truly comforting. As they bake, the flavors meld together, the cabbage leaves turning soft and sweet, the meat filling becoming juicy and flavorful. And let's not forget the tangy tomato sauce that bathes these rolls, adding a layer of flavor that ties everything together. The first time I tasted Golabki, I was at a traditional Polish wedding. The atmosphere was festive, the room filled with laughter and the clinking of glasses. And then came the Golabki, served piping hot, their aroma filling the room. The first bite was a revelation, the savory meat, the soft sweet cabbage, and the tangy tomato sauce creating a harmony of flavors that was unforgettable. It was a dish that felt like a warm hug, a dish that spoke of tradition and love. The memory of that meal stayed with me, a reminder of the power of food to create connections, to evoke emotions. It's a dish that I've since learned to make, a dish that I turn to when I need a bit of comfort, a bit of warmth. And that, my friends, is the beauty of Golabki, a dish that's more than just stuffed cabbage rolls. It's a dish that carries within it the warmth of Polish hospitality, the joy of family gatherings, the comfort of home-cooked food. The blend of savory meat with the soft sweet cabbage in a tangy tomato sauce is unforgettable. It's a dish that feels like a warm hug, and I hope it brings as much joy to you as it does to me. Next, we jet off to Korea, where kimchi isn't just food, it's a way of life. 
This fiery fermented marvel is a staple in Korean cuisine, known for its spicy, tangy, and slightly sweet flavor profile. Kimchi is a testament to the transformative power of fermentation, turning humble cabbage into a gastronomic delight. Making kimchi at home begins with choosing the right cabbage. Napa cabbage, with its crinkly leaves and mild flavor, is the preferred variety. The cabbage is salted, which not only seasons it, but also begins the process of breaking down the cell walls, releasing flavorful juices that will become part of the fermentation liquid. While the cabbage is resting, we prepare the kimchi paste. This vibrant red mixture is a combination of garlic, ginger, sugar, fish sauce, and the star ingredient, Korean chili powder, known as gochugaru. The paste is then mixed with additional ingredients such as radish, scallions, and sometimes, seafood like shrimp or oysters. The next step is to smear this fiery paste between each leaf of the cabbage. It's a messy process, but there's something incredibly satisfying about it. Once every leaf is generously slathered, the cabbage is packed into a jar, and the fermentation journey begins. Kimchi's transformation is a slow and patient process. As the days pass, the cabbage ferments and the flavors meld together. The result is a complex, tangy, spicy, and umami-rich dish that is an explosion of flavor in every bite. The beauty of kimchi lies in its versatility. It can be eaten fresh, like a salad, or used as a condiment to add a spicy kick to your favorite dishes. It can also be used as an ingredient in a variety of recipes, from kimchi fried rice to kimchi stew, and even in non-traditional dishes like kimchi pizza or tacos. Making kimchi at home was a turning point for me. It taught me patience and the beauty of fermentation. The process is almost meditative, watching the cabbage transform day by day into something so flavorful and complex. It's like nurturing a living thing, as you watch the kimchi bubble and hear it fizz, you know it's alive and changing. Every batch of kimchi is a new adventure, no two batches are exactly the same, and that's part of the charm. The flavors develop and deepen over time, much like a fine wine. A jar of homemade kimchi in your fridge is like a treasure chest, ready to add a burst of flavor to your meals at any time. So there you have it, the magic of Korean kimchi. A humble cabbage, transformed into a world-renowned dish through the power of fermentation. It's a culinary journey worth taking, and one that will change the way you view cabbage forever. Every batch is a new adventure, and the flavors develop and deepen over time, much like a fine wine. We're moving to Germany, where Rotkohl, a sweet and sour braised red cabbage, is a fixture on many dinner tables, especially during the autumn and winter months. This vibrant dish, with its deep purple hue, is not only pleasing to the eye, but also to the palate. It's a perfect blend of sweet and sour, with an underlying earthiness from the cabbage itself. Making rot coal begins with selecting the right red cabbage. Look for a head that's firm and dense, with bright crisp leaves. After removing the outer leaves the cabbage is sliced into thin strips. The thinner the strips the more effectively the cabbage can absorb the flavors in the cooking process. The magic of rot coal lies in its sweet and sour balance, which is achieved through the use of sugar and vinegar. The sugar caramelizes during the cooking process, giving the cabbage a sweet depth of flavor. Meanwhile, the vinegar adds a tangy kick that cuts through the sweetness. Another key ingredient in rotkohl is the apple. The apple not only adds a fresh fruity element to the dish, but also contributes to the sweet and sour balance. Choose a tart variety like Granny Smith for the best results. The cooking process for rotkohl is a slow one. This is a dish that can't be rushed. The cabbage needs time to soften and soak up all the flavors. The end result should be tender not mushy with a slight bite to it. The sweet and sour elements should be harmonious, neither overpowering the other. Adding a few whole cloves and a bay leaf infuses the rot coal with a subtle spiciness and an additional layer of complexity. Remember to remove these before serving. Now let me share a personal anecdote. Several years ago I found myself in a cozy German inn during the heart of winter. Outside, the snow was falling gently, creating a serene white landscape. Inside, the warmth of the inn and the aroma of cooking filled the air. I was served a plate of juicy pork, creamy mashed potatoes, and a side of rotkohl. The rotkohl was a revelation. 
Its sweet and sour flavor perfectly complemented the rich pork and potatoes. Each bite was a symphony of flavors. The cabbage was tender, the sweetness from the sugar and apple was balanced perfectly by the tang of the vinegar, and the cloves and bay leaf added a hint of spice. It was a meal I will never forget. Dining in a cozy German inn during winter, with a plate of juicy pork, creamy mashed potatoes, and a side of rot coal, was a revelation. Finally, we land in India, a country where spices are the soul of every dish. Here, we're going to prepare a vibrant, aromatic dish, Indian cabbage curry. This recipe is a beautiful amalgamation of finely chopped cabbage, sautéed with an array of spices. It's not just a side dish, it's a gastronomic journey through the rich tapestry of Indian cuisine. Let's start by heating oil in a pan. Once it's hot, we add mustard seeds and let them crackle. It's a symphony of sound that signals the beginning of any good Indian dish. Next, we add cumin seeds, asafoetida, and curry leaves. The aroma that wafts through the kitchen is intoxicating, a heady mix of earthy and spicy. Then it's time to add our finely chopped cabbage. We stir it well, ensuring every bit of cabbage is coated with the fragrant oil. Now this is where patience comes into play. We let it cook on a low flame, allowing the cabbage to absorb the flavors and soften to perfection. While that's happening, let's talk about spices. Turmeric, red chili powder and coriander powder are the backbone of this dish. Each spice brings its unique flavor, transforming the humble cabbage into a dish that's bursting with flavor. We add these spices to the pan, stirring them into the cabbage, and let it cook for a few more minutes. The cabbage turns a vibrant yellow, the color of sunshine and happiness. The first time I tried Indian cabbage curry, I was at a bustling street food stall in Mumbai. The aroma led me there, and the taste made me stay. Each bite was a riot of flavors, the spices mingling with the cabbage to create a dish that was simple yet extraordinary. It was a reminder of how a humble vegetable, when paired with the right spices, could create a dish that was both comforting and exciting. We finished the dish with a squeeze of fresh lime juice and a sprinkle of fresh coriander. The lime juice adds a tangy freshness, balancing the spices, while the coriander adds a burst of color and a hint of earthiness. This Indian cabbage curry is a testament to the power of spices. It's a dish that packs a punch and leaves a lasting impression. Whether you serve it with warm rotis or fluffy rice, it's sure to be a hit. So there you have it. Cabbage, a versatile vegetable that's traveled the world, from Poland to Korea, Germany and now India. Transforming into dishes that are as diverse as they are delicious. And just like that, we've added another exciting recipe to our cabbage repertoire. Until next time, keep exploring, keep cooking. And there you have it. Four fantastic cabbage recipes from around the world. We've journeyed from Poland with hearty stuffed cabbage rolls to Korea with the tangy delight that is kimchi. We then savored the comforting sweetness of German braised red cabbage and spiced things up with an Indian cabbage curry. Each recipe has shown us a unique side of our star ingredient, proving that cabbage is truly a versatile culinary champion. It's been a fascinating journey, and I hope you've been inspired to try these recipes in your kitchen. Remember, the world of cabbage is vast and varied. Don't be afraid to get creative and try something new. Whether it's in a comforting stew, a zingy salad or a spicy curry, cabbage is ready to surprise and delight you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more culinary adventures. Until next time, happy cooking!